Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this episode is called A Place in the Sun Behind the Scenes. For those of you that know, if you've been following the channel, you'll know that Lisa and I are buying a house in France, in the Chiron region. Uh, we are moving over in September anyway. Uh, we are moving into rental, which will help us uh, with our, our visa process. And that's the whole reason why we're doing these videos as well. So that there is like a cradle to grave um, explanation as to the process learning from our mistakes as we're making them as we're going along. Um, we applied last September to go and a place in the sun, popular Channel 4 uh, daytime program. And uh, we were successful. We came back two days ago from a week's worth of filming. <clears throat> um, what an absolutely fantastic experience. They flew us over on the Sunday. Uh, we had drinks with the, it was meant to be with the presenter, but she was a little bit late, Jean Johansson. And, uh, but we had drinks with um, Jean-Pierre, Emmanuel, and the uh, sound man and the cameraman. And then we started filming the Monday and it was full on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then half day Friday, uh, doing lots of filming. Um, the show is so authentic. Uh, what you see is what you get. There is no pretense behind it. So much so that when you first see the property, that is the genuine um, first reaction that you get. So you, you, you drive up to the property. If you have to drive past it, you have to put your head down in the car. You park around the corner while they set up the cameras. And then as you're walking up to the property, as you're walking up to the camera, you've got to keep your head down with your eyes covered. And when they shout action, that's when you take your hands away, you look up, and that is the, the genuine reaction. Um, they pay for our flights, they drove us around everywhere. Um, yeah, they paid for our, our uh, breakfast at the hotel. The hotel was lovely. We stayed at a place called Le Clos de Cedre, which is in uh, Rochefort Rochefort La Rochefort-Chart. That was a lovely town as well. Um, and they paid for our lunch. It was, uh, it was an amazing experience. Um, we cannot tell you what the result of um, the show was, whether we purchased or not, whether we, whether we made an offer or not. Uh, we've had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, so we're gonna stay true to that. Um, so you will see future videos of us in France. Uh, we are moving into rented, so whatever property you'll see, you won't know whether it's rented or whether it's a purchased one, whether it's purchased through the show, whether it's purchased privately. Uh, we're trying to keep this as authentic as possible. So yeah, I should imagine that the video is a bit long. I've um, not stitched it all together yet. Uh, hope you enjoy it. So what has just happened? So we've just had a conversation with the producer of I think he's the, the director. Um, he's Jean-Pierre. He's lovely, really nice. So gone through um, what our requirements are for the house, um, what our wiggle room's going to be mm -hmm. and our budget and also um, what we're going to compromise on and what our firm... What our compromise? Yeah. So making <laughs> sure that he understands where we want to be in the Chiron and... Um, yeah, it was a good conversation. Looking forward to getting out there and seeing them all on Sunday. Yeah, so what is really, really nice is that uh, it's Monday today. We're flying over on the Sunday. Um, they've all already created a WhatsApp group for us. Yeah. And the WhatsApp group will always stay open. Yeah. Even after the show. You know, so if there are any questions and stuff. Uh, then we are free to ask. I think he said on the five years that he's worked on the show, we are the most well prepared yeah. couple that he's ever worked with. But we've been talking about this for two years, haven't we? So. Yeah. So we know what our budget is. We know what our financial position is. Mm -hmm. We know what the hidden costs are. Yeah. You know, in terms of the legal fees, you're the you're the notary. Yeah. Um, it's good because nothing that we said didn't make him go. Have oh, you thought about that? Yeah. He actually said, well, actually, you guys are fully organised and ready to go. So, so he knows exactly what our budget is and what our, our wiggle room is. So, yeah. So, um... Oh, interesting enough, um, what he was mentioning is, is um, if you are looking to move out to France, 
if you have an English speaking notaire and an English speaking, uh, not even an English speaking notaire to be honest, because they're going to be French. But if you've got an English agent. speaking agent, um, you don't particularly need the solicitor to go along with that. So you will just have the notaire fee to pay. Yeah, because the whereas in England, the, the estate agent uh, manager needs to pass the legal exams. Um, in France, they need to, all the employees need to pass the legal exams enough to be able to uh, professionally and competently advise their clients. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. so that could save us around about three thousand pound, pound, three thousand pound plus twenty percent French VAT. So, th th three thousand six hundred. From what you were quoted today, six thousand pounds plus VAT. Plus VAT. Yeah, ridiculous. Which is ridiculous. We think we can get it down, but we also think. We probably don't need to spend that money anyway. No. So that all adds to my motorbike fund, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, uh, we feel really confident about a place in the sun. They feel, uh, yeah, they come across as really professional. They come across as though they really want us to find a house. He, he has, he has discounted one house immediately. From what we've said. From speaking to us. And he's definitely keeping in, another house if not another uh for, and, and he only i think he only landed today uh i think they're gonna hire us out a car yeah uh and they've given us the place where we're going to be staying like it's it, it's an airbnb was it an airbnb it's an airbnb because i didn't like the hotels it didn't meet their standards so we are going to be staying um in rock rock oh this one here where the chateau is anyway chateau de la <laughs> no, we're not staying at the chateau. <laughs> no, we're but not staying at the chateau. <laughs> it's near Angoulême anyway. Yeah, which is good. Okay, right. Sunday the 2nd of July. Um, Lisa and I are waiting for the taxi to take us to the train station. Train station, Gatwick Express to Gatwick. Gatwick to Limoges, getting picked up and then being taken to meet um, the crew start filming for a place in the sun. Apparently we're meeting our presenter at the airport and because we're sharing the same flight. So here's our journey. So here we are at Gatwick. Um, this doesn't want to be filmed so I'm going to turn this around my way. The oysters and so it doesn't get this. And then the beer and a Prosecco. And there we go. Oh, right so we've arrived Eventually, it's uh, nine o'clock French time. Uh, we've got the production crew waiting for us downstairs. Jean Pierre, Manuel, who's the other one? Eduardo. Um, we got brought here by a, um, <coughs> a Tesla. Tesla. The presenter Jean didn't come with us. Her flight from Glasgow to uh, Gatwick was delayed. Um, but uh, I got to practice my very, very poor French. But, but we seem to get by. Now it's time to go down and have some drinks. Okay, next day, start of uh, filming day one. We had a uh, lovely welcome meeting yesterday with uh, Jean-Pierre, Emmanuel, and a few others whose names escape me. Um, so we're going to be doing some filming this morning at a place of interest, which is usual for the show. Then they're going to show us our first property. Very exciting day. Right, so it's Monday afternoon. Um, We've just had lunch. Uh, we've done all, all the morning shoots, and uh, we're just outside the first property yeah, that we're going to see uh, for a bit. It's actually been raining, hasn't it? So mm. the, yeah, the weather's come off at the moment, so it's actually really good. So uh, yeah, we had to close our eyes as, as we drove past the property because the show's really authentic. Uh, they want us to have a genuine view of the uh, of the houses. So yeah, so we're just outside. I actually feel quite sick with nerves. If, if, if the truth be known, <laughs> but yeah. So, but we are allowed to film the house as well, so you'll get to see that as well. Okay, so this is the uh, the red garden, just under a quarter of an acre, I think one thousand eight hundred odd square meters, which is what they do in French when it comes to measuring. That's the back of the house, which is currently used as a holiday home so far. Um, right, take it. So walking in through to the back. Sorry, yeah, I'm doing my own Sorry. commentary. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Don't spike the camera. <laughs> Jean. <laughs> right, so from... 
we've got lights in here. I know, we, yes. we were using the finger lights, weren't we? Okay, so there's a set of stairs there that go up to two bedrooms, two bedrooms a bathroom, bathroom and a separate toilet, toilet. Yeah. and then uh, going into the cuisine. The second stairs, second, second set of stairs that go up into the third bedroom. <clears throat> And then we've got uh, the front. So, off the left. Right, so this is the house from the front. So, that is it. And then you've got the road that I've just walked down, the garden that goes all the way to the end. Um, you've got a area there. We could potentially use it for a barbecue and table and chairs. And then the garage is under the house. So the stairs from the kitchen. Would go into the bedroom, or the guest bedroom. So it is it is fairly big. With quite a lot of storage, and you've got all the storage there. Got all the storage there. Additional Yeah, it's hard about You go over the uh, east wing now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Okay, so this is The landing for the east wing Storage in there So we'll be thinking Our bedroom is big enough. Can you have a see in there? Yeah. Okay, this is the view from. Okay. So we've finished filming the first property. We've been around it, we didn't like it, we liked it, we didn't like it, then we liked it. Um, yeah, it is growing on us. So we've just done our first bit of filming. Got the cameras over there, got Lisa talking to Jean, our presenter. And uh, it went really well, so that was exciting. We had to do a few retakes. Wave! <laughs> Thank you. It's day two. We're going to see property number two now. Um, but we need to do like, a bit of filming at a point of interest near to where they're going to be showing us. So, short day today because Gene, our presenter, is going to be doing the filming at the expensive property which features during the program. So, uh, yeah, maybe doing the indoor pool in the hotel today. Okay, so property two, we just finished the filming and they're allowing us to go around and have a look. Right, so what you need to remember is that a couple has lived here for 40 years and they've I've amassed a lot of stuff, so uh, you need to try and do what I've done and strip everything back in your head and imagine it with uh, your own stamp on it and it's on the market at just less than £123,000 so um, yes yeah, so that's the front of it. <clears throat> it's got two garages, not seen either of them yet. I've counted at least four chickens look and they're friendly. garden goes all the way down to the bottom. There's a chick. Yes, this is the, the entrance. Got a barbecue there. Um, must be a fruit tree of sorts because it's got stuff to uh, catch the fruit. Got a balcony there from the uh, main bedroom. Very good food. Yeah. Okay, so this is the lounge. We're stairs going up to a separate area. So, carrying a lot. And the kitchen. Needs redoing, but this is on, only on the market for 123,000. 
So he'll give us loads left over in the budget. Up there is some loads of extra space. You'll see it on the other video. Um, oh, that's me nearly falling down the stairs. And then there's three bedrooms here. Balcony. In bedroom. Down in, there. in one of the two garages, yeah. Okay, so garden. I know I've done this house about face. So I'm having to do it. You want for the family. <laughs> for the... Right. So, big garden. That's the side of the house. Wood storage. It's the front of the house. The chicken. The chicken's following me. It's gonna pet me. Go away. Um, so all this is our garden with a vegetable patch. It goes all the way down there. It's on a bit of a hill, but it's got a ride on mower. I've seen that. Mind your shot. Pass that fence is next door's garden. There's next door. Okay, so this is, well, apparently the property goes all the way to the stream there. But uh, if you take it, so it's all that. It's a very, very mature garden. Lisa and I love this garden. We've absolutely fallen in love with it. And with the budget being what it is, there's so much potential that we can just put our own stamp on it. This is taking it back through again. So we've just finished lunch and uh, we've been dropped off to the town that's local to uh, property two, which I'm going to call it Chicken Chateau. <laughs> C'est joli. And there's a, uh, a chateau up there. It goes all the way up the road. It's a day three. Um, Wednesday, showing us two properties today. Um, we are, uh, we've just been shown the first property and, uh, and I didn't like it. And so that particular, <laughs> that particular one was cut short. So we're moving on to an activity and then moving on to a property <laughs> four. But no, I didn't like it. It's in the middle of an estate. And, um, the road was really, really busy. Huge house. It was a massive house with a massive garden. But it gave me the ick. This is property four that they've shown us. So, uh, three bedroom with a lot of potential to do. Bit more, but uh, it's got all this. It doesn't come with a horse, unfortunately. But uh, so this is actually the front of the house. And that is the garden. Two acres of land. I'll take you through the front door. I'm coming in through to the kitchen, which is the, the side of the house. How you doing? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Lisa and I love this. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's a huge kitchen. I'm having to be quiet because the uh, the agent here. I don't need to see how excited I am. <laughs> this is the cave. Yeah, it's 
see what it's got. So it's got, it's got an electric toilet for a start. What's in there? Um, that? Heater. Oh yeah, so there's a heater in there. So this, so this is a garage. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So this is the stairs. Unfortunately, I've turned all the lights off. Right. So nice big landing. Going into what we originally thought was the main bedroom. The size of it is huge. A nice view over there. So that is the main bedroom. Very dark, no lights are on. Apologies. Okay, so right, this is a weird space. This is weird. So we don't know what we'd do with this. This is on the market for 145,000. Well, it's not even on the market yet, so they've kept it off the market. Whilst the place in the sun filmed it, showed it for us to film. But this is huge. I want to put some glass panels up there for my uh, for my shower. There's obviously been a big, huge dog living in there. And then you walk through here to So these are the stairs that actually go down into the lounge. And then you walk into a another big room if I just go over into the corner and then film it that way. <laughs> and I'll show you the view. Wow, look at that. And then walking into the other room. So you have to go around a bit of the corner into another another double room, I'd say, is wouldn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, definitely. So again, if I go into the corner, perhaps not another bed. <laughs> and again, look at that view. And uh, yeah, there are other bits as well. Coming down. Where are you? Jason's gonna show you the garden. Yes, okay. Just, uh, quickly the living room, sorry. Huge, look at it. There the stair. <laughs> Going up to that other bit. Massive telly. Going to the village. To the okay, yeah. When you are there, yeah. you can so see perfectly the valley, house yeah. over there. Oh wow! <laughs> the nice view from there. Who the Well, you can. Yeah, absolutely. And that happens a lot over here. If you have too much land. Here we are. It's a uh, Monday evening after day one. Uh, we've just been for a few parity. Uh so we are at the backdrop of Le Chateau. Everyone needs to see it, it's amazing. It's lovely isn't it? And Le R Riviere, I think it is in French, not yeah, sure. there's two restaurants outside, so there's one here on this side. Oh, there's a flyby from a duck or a bird. And one on that side. And we did the filming just behind that there, didn't we? For this morning's shoot. So yeah, it's yeah. lovely this evening. The weather is gorgeous. Red hot. Red hot. And uh, we're not with the presenter or the crew. Uh, we've just been left to our own devices and uh, yeah, we're having a good time. So yeah. <laughs> yes, there are moped dickheads in French. And in France. Day four, 
we've been taken to the town of Conflon. That's the bridge that Lisa and I drove over illegally in January, not realising. So this is where they're going to be showing us property five. Okay, so this is property four, no, not this bit, because we're near a farm, but this has thrown a spanner in the works. So this is on for £167,000. Um, it's a holiday home for an English family. Um, they are prepared uh, to accept offers around about £152,000. So that's a massive uh, reduction. But that's the house there. Um, it's got an acre of land, which includes this bit of unusable, unusable bit. It's like a bit of a ruin. I think it might have been an old barn. But uh, yeah, so four bedrooms. It's had a septic tank five years ago. Um, there's a lot going for it. There's some bits that aren't, but it's gonna be really difficult. Yes, this is the main entrance. Oh, it doesn't have a garage, so. Jean-Pierre over there, who's the uh, production director, has uh, got a quote of uh, three and a half thousand pounds for a large wooden garage. So uh, <laughs> just going to get just going to get Jean in the shot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi. All right. So. Come and talk to me. Okay. So Jean, what do you think? <laughs> no, what do you think? We've got two good houses here. I know. It's yeah. This one's thrown a spanner in the works completely. Yeah. Um, and. Um, yeah, it, this one lacks the curb appeal of the other house. Okay. Um, and it doesn't have the views from the two main bedrooms. Don't give anything away. Don't give anything away. I know, but but what it does have is four usable is this bedrooms. this for your YouTube channel? Yeah. And the, uh, don't I, give anything away, viewers. You do not know what's going to happen. <laughs> are you on me or are you? No, I'm on you. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Don't give anything away. Okay. But um, what we can say is that there's two great properties in the running. Yes, there are. Yeah. The, neither Lisa or I have made any sort of decisions <laughs> like proper. We haven't. Good. We haven't. We, we haven't given each other a nudge or anything like that. This is like a proper conundrum. So this is an acre of garden. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> this is a an acre of garden. That is the other side of the. The ruins that I showed you before, um, that's, that would go. Uh, that would be where the uh, the garage would be. Got some storage over there. So this is the garden. So <laughs> we asked for more mature garden and more user friendly than a two acre field. Uh, yeah, and this is what they've done. <laughs> They, they have definitely delivered, really don't know. And it goes all the way back there. I, I mean, I really don't know which one we would actually go for. I just really don't know. Well, you can see that it goes all the way down right. there. So, so this is the kitchen. Um, yeah, so it, it comes in two parts. A little loungy area here. Um, this is the kitchen. So it's a little bit smaller than the other house. And do you know what? The floors are all higgledy piggledy, so none of this is like, fixed in place. It's none of its level. Um, but that's something to look at. Okay, <laughs> Um, right, so, so this is like the downstairs bathroom, yeah, it's quite big, um, with toilet, and this is us walking, storage here, this is us walking into the lounge, now this is a, a big lounge, <laughs> we'd already said that we'd probably keep the table and chair effect just there if you look at the beams 
Um, that alfresco area there, Jean-Pierre was saying that you could uh, put a window or French doors into there. I think that would look really, really nice actually. A nice wood burner it looks like. I've got my glasses on. Another door outside. So if you look at it from... Yeah, this is nice. Final day of filming. It's off a day today, or not. Can't remember what I've said on previous videos as to what we're doing. Um, but yeah, heavy night last night. <laughs> heavy night last night with the crew and the presenter. I don't think we um, finished till midnight. Yeah. One. It was one o'clock this morning. So yeah, heavy night up at uh, seven. I've got puffy morning eyes. Hopefully I'll get rid of them by 9.30. Um, and then yeah, apparently it's a really quick day today. So it's offer and then everybody goes on to the next uh, shoot, which is somewhere else in France and at least my will be going now. So and seeing the kids who we've missed a lot. And then we can... Okay, so here we are. It's a final day. It's offer day. Got Jean being mic'd up there. She's wearing the wrong dress because it's a crunchy material against the mics. They're not going to like this either. Though. They're not going to like that either. <laughs> <laughs> But they might like my Primark t-shirt. <laughs> Hi, so it's a wrap on filming. Um, everything's finished now. Jean, our presenter, she's been lovely. She's been amazing. Thank you, Jean. I paid them to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as part of the as part of the jeopardy for the show. We are not going to be telling you whether we made no. an offer or not. No. No. What people want to know is your journey to the Chiron. I know that's the name of your YouTube channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you keep posting stuff on there, tell us what you did to get all the paperwork, your visas, yeah, yeah. money transfers, like all that stuff's really valuable for yeah. people that want to do it themselves. So yeah. please keep sharing and please subscribe to the YouTube because it gives you lots of tips. Oh, well, you two are doing it, so you know it gives you lots of tips about what to do when you want to move to France. Lovely. See you soon.